Welcome to the 2018 Halloween episode of Tales of the Hunt. On the last episode, we talked about losing your mind and the terror that that can hold. And this time, we're talking something a little bit more conventional, ghosts and spirits. But that's not what you're here for. You want to hear the story. And this is the one that is the my first collectathon. And... I know what you're thinking, but that doesn't make sense. It's a ghost game. It's a detective game. Well, yeah, um, this game actually changes genres depending on how you play it. You can play it as just the story and get the the story and get the basic bare bones of the game. In all seriousness, where you try to just understand what's going on, to find out the mystery of your murder and move on with your life. Or you can go and platinum it, which does so much more for this game this game almost deserves to be platinumed because the, any other way is a mistake when this game um like and there's not much there's not much to talk about regarding your story it's just a scary game that i really wanted to platinum back a couple years ago and i that's what i did and now i'm talking about it the trophies are all based off collectathons or, or based off collectathons, basic store story stuff that you are unmissable, or um No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's either collectibles or story based things and there are a lot of collectibles on this game. Um to say anything else would be insane. There's a trophy you get for picking up your first collectible. A trophy you get for picking up 150 collectibles. A trophy you get for picking up 300 collectibles. A trophy you get for getting all the collectibles in the game. There are a gross amount of collectibles collectibles in this game. And each one of them adds lore to the story or fills in some details about a character. Which is really interesting. As you are in the town of Salem, Massachusetts. Well, if you don't know your history, a lot of witch and shit went down. And it's goddamn terrifying. Um, but a lot of this game is based off of just trying to figure out the horror of the city and what it's been doing for years and how new, a new serial killer is surrounding that and how that all kind of plays out. There are ghosts and spirits and demons in the game and which provide a pretty good job of contacts and getting things situated but not in a way of actually scaring you and telling you a scary story which is a shame on that front getting all the collectibles and getting the scary the ghost stories associated with those collectibles do a much better job of being scary and terrifying than the game it's on its own does and that's a shame something that should is so optional is easily the best part of the game and it's something that most of the fun came from me. I, it's been about three years since I've played the game. Not three years, like maybe two and two. Well, we're coming up on three years, but it's been like two years since I played the game. And I can still remember the Ashes to Ashes story. Not plop one by plop one, but I still remember it. I remember the story on the, uh, the Wailing of the Church Tower storyline i remember a lot of the storyline a lot of the ghost stories out of the possible five those are just the two off the top of my head that are genuinely terrifying and easily the best part of the game and while it does go from this adventure horror horror adventure game it goes into a straight up collectathon as you are going through the trophies and this game is ne- is never going to be a on any top 10 list. If anything, it has more ambition than it does game. And that's understandable when what you're trying to do. But a lot of this game, I wish just did did better with its things. It comes off with a, a lot of the similar mechanics from the Heavy Rain and Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Swords series, which isn't really a series. It's more of a, like, three games made by the same guy, but whatever. Um, 
type of thing than it does with its own with its own identity and that's something that i wish they would have dove in deeper with it's a game that tries to come off as menacing and hopeless at times and it does but it doesn't come off as scary as a proper ghost story should everyone it comes off more as a whodunit adam's family type of scenario which granted that may well be what they were going for but it's not what i was expecting and or wanted out of the game originally so it's understandably disheartening um a lot of people had issues with this game for it not really fitting and not being a perfect game coming from square enix i understand why you would want better and almost expect better but there are certain things that make sense within the world a lot of people had problems with the fact that you can just walk through a lot of the things in game and certain things you couldn't well i'm your ghost so yeah you're dead and everything's a little spoopy and of course you're gonna be able to walk through stuff and not have an issue because things are spoopy my only wish that this game would have gotten more love when it first came out and i'm surprised that it hasn't gotten even a spiritual successor in recent years um until dawn was another one of these games that did horror and did all these conventional tropes but they did a much better than this game and I, that's part of the reason why that game is getting more of a spiritual successor with the dark anthology series and the men of madan while this game tried to keep it more of a double a rated game almost on the on the level of hair of sending with sacrifice and those type of games and you can tell that there was a lot of good material in this game partially because of the ghost stories the ghost stories are so great but however those never really transfer over to the main game to the main storyline and that is a shame i wish that this game had gotten more done for it and more work towards it but unfortunately it just didn't i love this game it is definitely one of in my opinion, a really underrated game that I wish people actually got their hands on. And maybe one one year I'll do a uh, I'll do like a special Halloween story time of it, just because I do feel like it's a game that's underrepresented and under loved for definitely not trying to be the best out there, but definitely not a bad game either. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my main thoughts. It is basically a, just a haunted house style collectathon when it comes to being a trophy hunter for this game. And there are things that you have to work on when it comes to story, but for the most part, that's what you're playing. You're playing a collectathon when you go to platinum this game. And it is exciting, and it is fun, and it's good. It's just not the level it should have been for everyone to kind of hop on board with it but those are my thoughts for the main game like i said there's not a lot really talking here um it's this episode comes off as more as a review and then a hey here's my story or whatever um but it's definitely a game you can platinum in one playthrough like i did and it's definitely a game that the more you put into it the more you will get out of it so if you do to the side to go for this platinum, that's definitely something you want to think about. It's relatively easy. You can platinum it within a day if you just put out a good 20 hours. If that's what you want to do, you can definitely do that. No problem. Um, but all in all, that's what I have for it. Like, the game isn't good. It's not bad. It's an A-OK -okay game, which, when you go for the platinum, is really easy. And because a lot of people don't know about it, it's not, yeah, so I think there's a, I think there is a collectible in there, which we don't have the skill point if I remember properly. We just don't have the skill needed to go through that just yet. Um, but it's definitely an easier game that I would liken to other games that people platinum all the time within a day, but it's not a game that people expect to be easy. It's not a game that, you know, 
people have it come to associate as a fodder trophy game, which is really good, and it's good for us. Um, if I was rating it, I'd give it like a two out of five. Um, you know, it's not something to be super proud about. It's not something to be real um, hyped over the moon about. It's, it's a decent game with a good storyline and whatnot, but it's nothing to brag about, you know, like other games. Like Injustice 2, which we've covered. Like uh, Dead by Daylight, which we've covered on this show. You know, there are other games to lose your shit over. And this isn't one of them. Alright, but I'm done. I am totally done. I'm going to show you the Platinum Trophy and then we'll call this a video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you on the flip side. Alrighty, and this is the Platinum Trophy. Um, I like it. It's very, like, it has everything it needs for a good Platinum Trophy for me. You know, it has a title which is like, good job. But it's not just like, you got the Platinum Trophy! You know, it's like, it makes sense if you play the game. Um, and I like how it's him moving on into the light. I really do enjoy this game. Um, I enjoyed everything about it as well. But if that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, ghost-filled episode of Tales of the Hunt. I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween. And I hope that, you know, you're in a good place. This is episode... If you're keeping track at home, this is episode 26. And, uh, yeah. That's all I got. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.